All we're asking is for the rich to pay their fair share. How many times have you heard that line? Now let me ask you a different question. How many times have you heard the person delivering that line then go on to explain exactly what they mean by a fair share? Because polling conducted by Politico, Pew Research, and others have shown that when asked about taxes, a vast majority of Americans who've heard this line go on to say that, well, of course the rich don't pay their fair share. And yes, we need to increase taxes on the rich. But you wanna know what question is almost never asked or answered? What exactly do they mean by the rich? And what exactly is a fair share? See, the dictionary defines fair share as a reasonable amount, which is also not very helpful. And perhaps that's exactly what politicians like about it. By not defining their terms, a fair share is whatever anyone wants it to be at any given time. But how are we supposed to know how much anyone should pay when the people writing the tax policy won't even tell us what exactly your fair share is? So what do you think's fair? Well, in order to get to that, let's look at what is currently being paid. If you're in the top 1%, you already pay almost 40% of all federal income taxes. If you're in the top 50%, well, we're paying 97% of all federal income taxes. In fact, if you're in the bottom 40%, you actually receive more in federal dollars than you pay in federal income taxes. Interestingly enough, when people are made aware of this, it tends to change their perspective. Now, maybe despite all of this, you still want the rich to pay more. But at what point does this argument about fairness not make any sense? Maybe you think the rich should pay more because it's easier for them to pay more. Well, that may be true, but does that make it fair or just convenient? I mean, even the bank robber Willie Sutton said he robbed the banks because that's where the money is. Didn't make it justified. Taxing people purely because they have more might be an easy political calculation. But what are the consequences of taxing away the money people earned through valuable work and smart investments? Because at some point, People just stop running the restaurant or being a doctor or inventing products. It may sound good for a politician to say, all we're asking is for the rich to pay their fair share. But whenever we hear this, we should probably ask some pretty important follow-up questions, such as, what exactly do you mean by rich? What exactly is a fair share and how do you come to that conclusion? And regardless of your intentions, is raising taxes on people based on how productive they are likely to increase productivity or to thwart it? After, and only after, politicians have answered those questions should we even think about taking them seriously. Because if the true objective is to create an environment where everyone has a shot at success, we should be very careful about a tax code that punishes the very thing we want more of. I'm Nick Freitas, thank you for joining us on The Why Minutes, where every week we tackle a new issue, Ask the Why, in order to get to the bottom of the ideas, philosophies, and principles which shape our world. Please join us at thewhyminutes.com.